Many of us, we are not dominating in the areas which God has given to us. We are not dominating in our work areas. We are not dominating in our personal lives. We are not dominating ourselves. So the day you disobey me, you become independent is what God says. I want to do that. I want to do this. I feel like having that. I feel like... God says, bro, better control yourself. For most of us, the Holy Spirit is a guest. He comes every Sunday morning from 8.30 to 10.30 and he leaves out after 10.30. The Holy Spirit is not a guest. The Holy Spirit is a resident. Whatever was required to sustain, God made that first. God made that first. Why? Because environment is the most important thing for the product to survive. You are created in the culture of heaven and that's how you need to start living in the culture of heaven. Today I'm going to talk on the topic of the importance of environment. Everybody say that. Pastor, why are you teaching about environment in the church? Because that is the most important thing that we need to understand. The importance of environment. Environment is the most important thing in our life. It protects us. It safeguards us. It helps you grow. Most of us, we are... We do not understand the importance of environment. That is the reason why we are not living in the suitable conditions. Some of us, the reason why we are not growing is because we are not in the suitable environment. A suitable environment is the predominant thing. It predominates everything. When Jesus came to the earth, he did not come to set a religion, but he came to set a kingdom. Now, based on that, you can understand the most important thing that a man needs is not a religion, but he needs a kingdom, a system. So, a system also means an environment. Earth is an extension of the kingdom of heaven. Now, those of you folks who forgot about the kingdom of message, I think this, this will be a good recap for you. And when Adam sinned, when he rebelled against God's word, he fell down from the, from the presence of God. He fell down from God's appointed mind. Basically, the word Eden, the Garden of Eden means a spot or an axis. An axis. That's the reason why everything can be found. Maybe you can even find the skull of Adam as well, but you can't find... Garden of Eden. Why? Because Garden of Eden is not a physical location. You need to understand that. The Garden of Eden is not a physical location. Rather, the Garden of Eden means it is an accessibility to heaven. It is the right to something else. So Adam did not fall from heaven. You need to understand. Most of us, we think Adam fell from heaven. Adam did not fall from heaven. Adam fell from the dominion. Adam was created on the earth. And even after sinning, he was there on the earth. What happened? What is the difference? Is? The difference is he fell down from dominion. Everybody said dominion. Ah, most of you, we do not understand the word dominion. As a matter of fact, we think dominating means or domination means it is a negative thing. That's how the world wants you to think of it. Dominion or the world dominate me doesn't is not a negative word, but it is rather a very good word for you. Many of us, we are not dominating in the areas which God has given to us. We are not dominating in our work areas. We are not dominating in our personal lives. We are not dominating ourselves. That is the reason why you are not under your control. Rather, you are under the control of your mind. But God says, you need to control your mind. So whatever controls you, you're under domin dominion. That is dominating you. Are you dominating your mind or is your mind dominating you? You need, you need to start questioning yourself that. Pastor, how do we know whether our mind is dominating us or we are dominating our mind? Well, you're not supposed to eat an ice cream, but when you see an ice cream, <laughs> that situation means your, your mind is dominating you. You know, when, when Adam fell down from heaven, he declared independence by himself. That's exactly what happened. Adam declared independence from, from, him, from God. And 
For example, we declared ourselves independent in the year 1947. You know what happened then? The last governor of the kingdom of Britain, the Great Britain at the time, he left India in the year 1947, August 14th. Why? Because August 15th, we declared ourselves as an independent state. This is exactly what happened with Adam. Adam declared himself independent when he disobeyed the word of God. When God said, Adam, you're free to eat anything except that tree, the fruit of that tree. And Adam was like, no, I'm going to eat. So that means he's, he's agreeing not to God, but something else. To whom? The snake, the serpent, the devil, the evil guy. Most of us are being dominated by something else except God's word. Most of us, we are being dominated. So the question over all this Bible is not about anything else, but it is about dominion. Therefore, Adam did not lose a religion. Rather, he lost a kingdom. Why? Because when, when the Holy Spirit left, the kingdom of God left. My dear brothers and sisters, that is the reason why you find the most interesting verse in the Bible in Luke chapter 19 verse 10 which most of us misread. For the Son of Man came to, the, he came to seek and save what was, not who was lost. Hallelujah. Some of you got it. Some of you are still wondering, Pastor, what are you talking? For the Son of Man came to seek and save what was lost. Now, what was lost? Not man. The kingdom was lost. The Son of Man came to seek and save what was lost, not who was lost. My dear brothers and sisters, most of us are worried about other people. God says, no, don't worry about other people. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and... Come on, church. We are, we are praying, oh, bro, God, save this guy, save that guy. God says, no, do you follow the kingdom of God and the righteousness of God? If you do, every, the rest of thing, th the things will be taken care. Some of you are praying for the, for the saving of your family, for the salvation of your family. God says, no, -uh. take care of the kingdom of God and his righteousness and your family is going to be saved. Why? Because they watch you. They see you. Is this guy only a guy person who talks, talks, talks? That's the reason why apostles are not called. They did not write a book called The Talks of God, but they, they wrote a book called The Acts of God. Hello. Pastors, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, God came to save what was lost, not who was lost. The government controls and changes when the, when the head changes. So, for example, the government remains the same. The system remains the same. Whoever is at the top, whoever is at the head, he controls the whole system. Now, who is on your head right now? Who is your head right now? Oh, you say, God is my head. That's in the church. Once you step out of the church, who is your head? Come on, man. This is a really, really important question. You know, this is something which even I struggle sometimes. So... I can really understand your situation. Now, the point is you should not succumb to that situation. Rather, you should apprise from that situation. Rather, you should come out of that situation. Rather, you should be lifted out of that situation. Do not let the devil control your head. Rather, you control the devil. Because that's how God controls the devil. If God wants him to enter into the courts of God, that's when the devil can enter the courts of God. Otherwise, he's not seen anywhere. My dear brothers and sisters, in Genesis 1 and 2, we see 1 chapter 1 verse 2, we see, Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the earth. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Who was there? Who was there? God himself, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. He was there. But when Adam rebelled, the Spirit of God left the man. We can find that in verse uh, 17 of second chapter. 
we can say that but you must you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil for when you eat from it you will certainly that's exactly what it means when when god said you will certainly die he doesn't really mean the physicality of it he means the holy spirit will be removed from you that means the holy spirit is going to leave you that means you're no longer going to be taught by the holy spirit rather you'll be taught by yourself that means the devil my dear brothers and sisters this is this is very very important for you to understand so the day you disobey me you become independent is what god says the day you disobey me you'll be running by yourself that's the, that's when you know we can even find that in chapter 6 verse 33 yeah put that on the screen then the lord said my spirit will not content with humans forever for they are mortal for they are mortal their days will be 120 years just after the spirit of god left this is what god says but before the spirit of god left this was not the situation are you understanding now so that is the reason why when i was teaching about authority and leadership i told you the safest place on earth is being under authority most of us are never under authority i want to do that i want to do this i feel like having that i feel like god says bro better control yourself you got to stay under control man because the things which are out of control they're being abused the reason why we are not able to understand a lot of things in this world in this present world is because we are not understanding the kingdom of god the reason why the spirit of god did not talk after this is because we declared ourselves independent i am independent we still have that same spirit prevailing even now the presence of the governor is a key in order for the things to be established in a certain system in a certain predicament in order for a colony to be turned into a kingdom the governor needs to stay in that colony so the holy spirit needs to stay inside you that is the reason why the bible says the holy spirit is going to reside in you the holy spirit is not a guest rather he is a resident are you understanding for most of us the holy spirit is a guest he comes every sunday morning from 8:30 to 10:30 and he leaves out after 10:30 he's a guest we experience the holy spirit during worship come on church that's not the holy spirit that is the music that's the trance that's making you like that we make you feel like that so you can understand how the presence of god will be i understand eh? the holy spirit is not a guest the holy spirit is a resident permanent resident So is the Holy Spirit a guest to you? You let him talk to you whenever you want or is he talking to you always? Whenever God created he always creates the environment first. That's the reason why he always set the spirit of God inside. You can even find that in the verse in the first chapter and God breathed the breath of life. That's when the man became a human. My dear brothers and sisters that is the reason why marriage cannot work if you remove god that is the reason why relationships cannot work if you remove god why because marriage is an institution from the kingdom of heaven it is not an institution from the kingdom of darkness marriage relationships are the institutions from the kingdom of heaven So in order for you to understand marriage you better understand the kingdom of god you know the, what the world teaches you or oh, divorce is common i'm i'm pretty sure 40% of us who are sitting in this hall right now everybody has either heard experience or know people who are divorced and that was not the case just 20 years back if somebody was divorced you used to be, oh, it's divorce now divorce is common thing divorce is common i'm pretty sure every person you must have experienced that right at your hand in your family as well 
whatever god created he created it to function specifically within a specific environment within a specific environment are you understanding every product is supposed to function within a specific environment not not out of the environment and whatever god required to sustain for example god made the environment first and then he made the product god made the soil before he made the plants are you understanding god made the soil before he made the plants god made the stars because before he made the firmament god made the animals before he made the plants whatever was required to sustain god made that first god made that first why because environment is the most important thing for the product to survive environment is the most important thing for you to live you still exist even after the holy spirit left you but you malfunction why because if a product is removed out of its environment it malfunctions if you don't understand throw that iron ironing machine in the water and just try to catch it it mall functions if you still don't understand try putting diesel into your bike it mall functions it looks alive yet it it won't work that is exactly the situation with most of us we look alive we look full of life but we mall function we mall function in areas we mall function in certain things we mall function in certain areas of our life you know god created eden before he created adam and eve god created the garden before he put people inside that and we can find that in verse 7 of chapter 2 uh, then the lord god formed a man from the dust of the ground and breath into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living thing now the lord god had planted a garden in the east in eden and there he put the man he formed now what was created first the man or the garden the garden after the creation of the garden the man was placed in the garden now most of us we do not understand we think that oh after marriage i'm going to understand a woman no bro that's never going to happen you got to start understanding how woman works before marriage why because you got to create that environment turn to your neighbor and say create that environment fish got water birds got sky and man got eden and what does eden mean what does eden mean you can simply put it as heaven everybody say heaven now who was there in heaven male or female ha huh? male god created adam first kada who was there in heaven first male now all you unmarried girls you know where to find your male where some of us we try to go to a club we go to a pub sorry wrong place you're not going to find the right male in the wrong location and all the women say this is what most of the women are trying to do now they marry the wrong guy and they try to make him the right person never going to work it is never going to work and all the boys say you know fish got water birds got sky and man got eden and i told you eden means the spot a heaven even eden means the axis you marry a <laughs> i 
and you try to make him into a fill in the blanks in order for you to understand access the best way i can put it let's say i'm a i'm an indian military officer and i went on a mission to another country i i went on a secret mission and i find myself in trouble i immediately send a signal to my army base and they imme- saying that i'm in trouble if i'm in trouble and they immediately send me a rescue team that's exactly what is called as access this is how the promises of god work in our lives just because the promises of god are there in the bible doesn't mean that it is supposed to work in your life it will only work in your life when you have the access to heaven are you understanding the promises of god will only work if the holy spirit is a resident in your body if the holy spirit is a resident in your mind the promises of god won't work just because they are there my dear brothers and sisters eden means access to heaven and adam and eve both of them had the access to heaven the first one was the male though now you need to now you just take the fish out of the water what happens the fish die machli mar jata ha huh? now you take man out of eden kya hota mard bhi mar jata the point is right from our childhood is mard ko pata bhi nahi ki eden hoga ya nahi this man doesn't even know that eden exists and he gets accustomed to living as if he is dying are you understanding so if he doesn't know what life is then he thinks that dying is itself life for example how many of you are feeling all right now is the air condition good nice is it cold no right before we started the second service there was only one air condition running all right and while we were talking we were having a conversation me and a few people they said ana this is fine no need of switching on the second air condition this is exactly what i told them let's switch it on first and if it's cold then we can switch it off they said no it's fine i told them you won't understand what fine is till you uh, till you till the second air condition is turned on does it make sense some of us have been habituated to death that is the reason why every monday morning uh, sunday morning uh, tuesday morning uh, you think uh, is life no uh, is not life thriving is life hallelujah the joy of the lord the salvation is my salvation the joy of the lord no joy we pray god give me joy god says do you have the holy spirit no there's your answer our joy is only momentary temporary if there is money in your bank account i'm telling you sometimes i'm just broke as my broke is different from your broke so don't think i'm broke like you anyways so <laughs> sometimes i'm broke i don't have money even then i'm joyful my broke is not like uh, no food no nothing to drink no clothes no 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 my broke is different level okay if i tell you what my broke is you're going to go crazy so i'm let's not go there anyways coming back to our message you need to understand your joy should not be temporary if it's temporary that means there is no resident inside who is that resident smart church so take take the stars out of the firmament stars burn up take man out of the garden of eden what happens mall function and most of the males they are mall functioning now we are mall functioning the presence or this environment also means culture hey how many of you are from uh, the science background just raise your hands 
Science background. One, two, three. Good. I think you understand the best. Environment means culture. Right or wrong? Environment means culture. When you culture in the right environment, that's when the germs start germinating. Yes? You need to, you need to start culturing. You need to start behaving in a certain way even though, even though it's not there. Why? Because that's the way you're supposed to. That's, that's how you bring in the culture. That's how you bring down a certain aspect in your life. My dear brothers and sisters, you need to understand the, that the presence or this environment, it means uh, you, 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 it needs to be in a certain suitable condition. Suitable conditions is what is called as culturing. What culturing are you in? What culture are you in right now? All the science, the lab technicians, whoever is watching, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you can culture certain germs, you can create a certain environment for a certain germ to grow. When I say germ, don't think it's a bad thing. Germ means life. That environment is called, for man, it is called Eden. Is Eden within you? Do you have Eden inside you? Master, how do I get this Eden? And you know how, I already told you. When the resident is present, the governor is present inside you. The Holy Spirit is present inside you. The Holy Spirit, this is the job of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit job is to guide you into all the truth. To let you know what is right, what is wrong. To, to, to make the best environment so you can grow, start growing, start growing, start growing. Genesis chapter 3 verse 23 we see. So the Lord God banished him from Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Oh man. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden. When, that's when he started to malfunction. Because Adam said, I don't want you. I don't want your rules. I don't want your regulations. I don't want your laws. I'm going to create my own. God said, okay, fine, no problem. Exit. That's what is called death for man in the Bible. In verse 24, we see, after he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the garden. What did, what did God do? He drove the man out. That means... The presence of God, this is from the mind of God. So you, you need to understand that he's, he's, he's writing this from the mind of God. It is not from our perspective. And from the mind of God, you cannot escape anywhere. God cannot be driven out. So God says, I drove you out from my presence, from the Garden of Eden. That's when the man started to work for the ground. Till that time he did not work for the ground. He, he used to work for God. <laughs> are you understanding? He, this is exactly what we are working for. We are working so that we can wear good clothes. We are working so we can wear, wear uh, we can live in a good house. Working for the ground. You got to start working for heavens. My dear brothers and sisters, that's the reason why, you know, most of the NGOs, they work for the glory. That's the reason why they don't, they don't have enough money. They work for the change. They work with passion. They work to impact a nation. That's the reason why even though they don't have money, they're happy. And some of us, we earn 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 4 lakh. By month end, we are like asking for a new loan again. Come on, church. It's time for you to think. Start prioritizing. From our childhood, we are, we are working for Abraham Maslow. Abraham Maslow's theory. We are working for food. We are working for security. 
we are working for community jesus christ no 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 know who you are is what god said that means he reversed it he reversed abraham maslow's theory know who you are that's how all your needs needs will be met is what god says in and now my question to you is after god banished adam from the garden of eden what was the result what was the result adam fell from dominion this is exactly why jesus christ came back again this is the reason why jesus christ came back again god excommunicated adam he excommunicated adam god did not use any sword god simply took the man out of the atmosphere out of the environment many of us are out of the environment and we still don't understand it you know if you just take fish out of the water you don't need to kill it it dies most of us we are dying and you don't even realize that you don't even realize the fact that you're dying the moment they came out of the environment what happened adam started adam started blaming eve eve started blaming adam adam and eve they did not they were not able to bring up their children in the right way cain killed abel abel was dead malfunctioning that's called malfunctioning the wrong ideas in the mind the wrong things doing the wrong things the right wrong outputs is your life malfunctioning today is your is your mind not in the right areas today you know when you are out of the culture of heaven your marriage will be a failure when you are out of the culture of heaven your mind will be a failure when you are out of the culture of heaven your work will be a failure when you are out of the culture of heaven your total family will be a failure you cannot re- replace a a toyota part with a tata part right can you the car doesn't function this is exactly what is happening with us we are trying to fit in with other parts oh i will go and pray no 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 if you do go and pray what without the holy spirit it won't work oh i will go and show my hand to that future reading person it won't work oh i will go to this vastu consultant no bro mal functioning oh i will go and try this try this thread around my ankle i will wear this ring i will i will wear a necklace it won't work it won't work you're created in the culture of heaven and that's how you need to start living in the culture of heaven let me go get prayed by that prophet it won't work my dear brothers and sisters the culture of heaven plays a predominant role in your life your words form your environment both external and internal your words are you using foul language god says i can't bless you because you are destroying your environment through foul language abusive language are you abusing your your relationships god says i cannot bless you because through abusing your relationships you're destroying the culture of heaven Are you are you bringing up are you building the culture of heaven or are you tearing it down My dear brothers and sisters this is the most important thing better understand this message better understand this message Your words they form your environment you frame your mind the frame of mind that you have 
the way you walk the way you dress the way you talk the words that you use we you know we dress so shabby and we expect other other people to respect us how will that work you don't you don't honor your wife you don't you don't love your wife and you ex- expect your your wife to honor you how will that work when was the last time you cooked for your wife i mean for me also it's been a long time but i love her anyway i take her flowers easy are you are you loving your wife are you respecting your authority why do you think ah oh, this is what i am this is what i was taught if you think that's how it won't work all this all this subject that i teach over here it is the culture of heaven it is the kingdom of god man that's how things work that's how things work whose product is marriage god's that's the reason why it is not working in the worldly setup i mean what nonsense is prenuptial agreement that means we both are going to be together sleeping in the same bed but you cannot share my food i cannot share your food okay you pay for yours i pay for mine friends with benefits come on church just think about it the reason why i'm talking this subject right now is because i want you to start safeguarding your environment start protecting your environment start thinking back go back to the foundations go back to the roots go back to what god has already created before you even existed god has set set certain rules certain laws certain conditions a product cannot grow out of its environment marriage cannot last without the culture of heaven inside the family the church has incorporated the culture of the world the church has incorporated the culture of the world and church doesn't have the culture of heaven now where is the culture of heaven we forgot what god is we forgot how god has predestined you already into a successful person the church is also just like the world just like the world the church has incorporated the culture of the world now there is no hope for the next generation to get married the reason why most of this generation you don't want to get married is because you have seen your parents that is the reason why you don't want to get married you saw how your parents fought you how saw how your parents quarrel you how saw how unhappy they were you saw how they were cheating on one another the reason why they did that is because there is no culture of heaven inside them but it is up to you to change it it is up to you to change it that is the reason why now i am telling all the youngsters to get married young and quick don't even take time don't take time don't think oh i'm going to get married when i'm 30 no when you're 20 21 just go get married let me enjoy it no you you can you can enjoy with your wife you can you can have life with your wife who told you you cannot enjoy after ma- being married that's what the world teaches you but the kingdom of heaven is totally different the kingdom of god teaches you a different aspect because and that is the right aspect 
Why? Because it was created by the kingdom of heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, it is time for you to start thinking again. It is time for you to start changing things one by one, slowly. Only the right environment will create the right product. Only the right atmosphere will create the right product. We need to cultivate and restore the culture of heaven inside us. Because relationships is a product of heaven. Marriage is a product of heaven. Family is a product of heaven. Now family is diminishing. Family is diminishing. The concept of family is diluting. At least 40% of the people who are watching this video right now, you have experienced, you are either born out of a wedlock which was not legal or maybe you, you have already experienced divorce in your family, in your sisters, in your brothers, among them or maybe your relatives. We have not we are not understanding how relationships work, how, how to build people. We are simply thinking, oh, it's all about me. What do I get out of it? What do I, what, what do I take out of it? No, it's in the kingdom of God, it is not, never about what you get out of it. In the kingdom of God, it is about what can you do? What can you create? What can you give, man? And when I say give, people always think money. No, it's beyond that beyond that only if the father spends enough time with the child that's when the child will start growing not when he gives money to the child when he, the father gives money to the child and not his presence the child malfunctions the child doesn't grow and this is what happens to many of us we do not have a father in our lives. We do not have a mentor in our lives. We do not have somebody who can, whom we can go and talk and take advice and learn, seek from. Why? Because independent. God says it won't work. It won't work. Just think about it. It did not work till now. So why do you want to keep on trying? It is time for you to give it up. Start thinking in the original way. Start thinking in the culture of heaven. Start thinking in the kingdom of God. Start thinking in the godly way. In the way that God has set for us. Let's all stand on our feet. I want to give you some time today. So you can think about this. The importance of environment. In order for you to make the right environment, you need the right resident inside. The right governor inside who can govern you. The right person inside you who can, who can talk to you, who can get things in the right way. The person who is going to lead you, who is going to guide you into all the truth. Is that person there inside you? If not, just ask God, God, I want the Holy Spirit to start residing in me. I want the Spirit of God to reside inside me. I want to, I want Jesus to reside inside me. I want, I want God to reside inside me. I want Him to start talking to me. I want Him to start making all the decisions inside me. The Holy Spirit is not an experience. The Holy Spirit is a lifetime resident. The Holy Spirit is not a feeling which comes and goes. The Holy Spirit is a lifetime resident who stays with you forever and ever. He's going to live inside you. Who's going to talk to you. Who's going to nourish you. Who's going to culture you into the kingdom and its culture. The kingdom of God and His culture.
it's time for you to open up just say god just come start living inside me i accept you start living inside me i accept jesus as my personal lord and savior because that's exactly what jesus said when i go to heaven i'm going to send you my father is going to send you the holy spirit so he can guide you into all the truth is the holy spirit residing inside you the holy spirit when he resides inside you he's going to guide you into all the truth my dear father our prayer today is to make us live in the right environment make us live make us live in the environment that you have predestined for us lord we thank you for the word that you have given to us today let us abide by it oh father we thank you for the love and the grace that you have given to us let us fall into the kingdom of god let us seek first the kingdom and your righteousness in all our areas of our life in all areas of father in our money management our financial management our relationships management our family our work areas our businesses let us follow yo you and your principles let us follow your ideas we thank you lord and let us not have personal opinion but let us only have the opinion of the kingdom of god we thank you my dear father we glorify your name as we go back home oh father deal with us more talk to us more we thank you in jesus mighty name we ask and pray amen